Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to PCM20, Career Mode, Episode 154. We're here at the start of the biggest race of the year. It's the Tour de France. Spoiler alert coming in. If you haven't seen the last episode, I actually already started the Tour de France. So before you get some sort of recap on where we're at, spoiler alert in five, four. All right. Stage one of the Tour de France went extremely well. Kevin Vermark, as you can see highlighted here, took second place. 11 seconds down on the overall lead. Uh, Eddie Moreau took third place. He's 13 seconds down on the, the overall lead. And in the race lead the is Pavel Rodriguez. Like Rodriguez won that speed. opening punchy stage. You can see the uh, breakaway now. Down to uh, three riders and down to 30 seconds. They've never had much of an advantage today. Uh, pace has been pretty hefty throughout. And you can see, like, Killen, uh, Moreno definitely suffering a bit throughout the day. But there's that overall race lead. Not sure why Vermark's time is a little different. But there was some bonuses uh, at the front. So I think Rodriguez might have picked up a couple of seconds. Anyway, the main group is at 17 seconds down. So they were seven seconds back of Rodriguez plus the 10 second time bonus for winning the stage. And then that's only through 14th place. And from 15th down, they're at 37 seconds. And a lot of race contenders are at that point, at that gap, at that level uh, of being that 37 seconds behind. Because this is mostly the punchers in the front group. You can see Pogachar is up there. Uh, Yershov made it, Trentadu made it, uh, Carapaz made it into that main group. But that's about it. Uh, other contenders, Barrow, Andrade, um, Moss are all down. Bernal is here as well. Dang. Uh, didn't get a terribly good look at who all is here. Adam Yates. There's Ackerman. We haven't had a, the greatest look to see what the field is is like but right now there's not a lot of pace at all we've really really slowed down i think we need to uh do our sprint train a little bit early and not push push but we need to start making life difficult so rodriguez is the guy we ride for it's going to be Vermark to lead him out that's easy johnson i think is the other one as the strong climber this is just a short little punchy finish 2.3k this unlike the last one is a regular punchers type day Moreau is a good option. Barrage is a great option today. Millar. Oh, yeah. Millar. Millar needs to actually go in between. So we'll get that race day condition and then get these two out of the way. All right. Let's say 88. What's an 88? Wow. Yeah, that's a big, <laughs> big difference in tempo. Killen, not a fan that you decided to go to that side of the road with your team all on the other side. But there you go. We're lined up. We're ready to go. 23.5K to go. That's a long ways to be pushing. So Killen, we'll just go 87 for now. We've got some undulation in this next little period, and we could end up doing something out of that. You can see that we don't have the entire peloton, as there's a few riders who have gone out. Uh, the back is down to just two of them. Uh, there was a crash, and that took out 12 riders. And we are seeing a push now from some others. This is potentially uh, regarding the KOM and the, the Cat 3 up ahead of us. Guys that might be interested in that, but we are certainly wanting to respond to this uptick in their tempo. We're not going to win the stage right here. But you could absolutely lose the stage right this here. So kill him. Pushing a little bit harder. 2.3k. 287 front. meters. 6%. Again, these guys. Oh, Yershov. Hello. That's not a... There's Tintoni. I don't see looking these days. 81 mountains, 78 hills, 75 resistance, 80 recovery. I miss having him in the squad. All right. Uh, Killen's out of energy, but right now it's not hurting us. Uh, Yershov going away is an almost perfect scenario at the moment because the 
obviously uh, don't have any he's wasting a lot of energy on. and could miss out on this final attack. There goes Simmons trying to get away. So again, I'm really glad we uh, set things up a lot earlier on this one. Reno has a good downhill, though he's on a negative race take condition and not looking Only so perfect right now. But once we get over this, we're down to seven. The oh. finish line is getting close. The riders just passed the 10 kilometers right. road sign. Full attack. Simmons, Yershov, Trentadu have tried to make something happen on today's stage, and it has failed. The being cut back. The little promenade is over. The group has been overhauled. They've been caught, and then now we're just going to keep right on going. Uh, Killen got dropped, by the way. He's in the 94 back there, so we're down to 72 at the front. That's a good sign. Okay, under 5K. Start yelling up for left. everybody else. Row, push, 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 push. 70 downhill, and we're done on the downhill pretty much anyway. Here's that last little piece of it before we go uphill. Rounds are ready to go after that. On to him now. All right, 2K to go to the finish line. On to Johnson. I said go. Oh, come on, Johnson. Well, not Johnson. Come on, game. Respond to my clicks. On to Millar. Under 1K already for Mark. Attack. And, and Rodriguez. Attack for the finish. For Mark is going to take the stage. We're going to make it two. Rodriguez is going to miss top three. But for Mark, aha, ahead of Yershov. Yershov gets this one. Van Art up there as well. Pogachar. Rodriguez. Only fifth. Okay. Yep. Only fifth. Pogachar snuck past him. Gaudu, Carapaz, Mernick, Shockman. 60 riders left in the front group. There might have been a small gap back there, but there's a huge gap. After about 60, but uh, you can see it might have been grouped with maybe 22 riders. And then 34. We'll see if that uh, gap was given. The aftermath certainly took it as such, so... Be nice if there was. Just in case you missed them, here are the race highlights. So two stage wins from two stages for Mark getting this one. He had the nice race day condition. No time gaps here. Your shove gaining six seconds sucks, but he's only a 71 mountain, so he's a puncher. He's uh, not going to be a threat. Puck Char does not gain any time, so that's good. That's a good, th good sign. And what about time losses? Who experienced them? Nothing through 56 riders. So the first gap starts at 57. And we'll see, is there anybody down here? I don't see anyone. No. Nope. No sign of any GC riders missing out. So everybody on same time. But again, we already have that advantage of being ahead of quite a few riders in the overall. It's a long time to try to protect this jersey. We already almost lost it here on stage two to <laughs> our own man, Kevin Vermark, now just one second down. We're now on to stage number five after a couple of sprint stages. Uh, this year's Tour de France, they absolutely mean business. Uh, no doubt about it, they are putting the climbers on the back foot today between the two punchy stages that we started with and some of them losing a little bit of time and then a time trial that's mostly flat, 26 kilometers this early in the tour, is going to have a drastic impact on those pure climbers who aren't time trialists, who aren't punchy. They could be well, well down the order and fighting from a long ways back, which of course could in some ways work to their advantage later on because they could go under the radar and maybe get into a breakaway and, and claim a stage victory. So, you know, there's almost that factor of being ignored. And instead of it being the other way around where the time trialists uh, or punchy guys, you know, fight their way back along the way, it's the other way around this time. David Killen has set a really good standard for us, and you can see the times are all over the place. I mean, even Killen, who was 10th just a moment ago, uh, starting to drop down the orders. We're getting up into the higher order 
guys, the the better contenders, the better all around riders are, are starting to come along. Killen was second place momentarily when he went, but of course he's our lowest place rider right now. Uh, but we are with Rodriguez, zero race day condition, which is unlucky. Second stage in a row that he's been on a zero. He does have the objective, so he should be sitting on a plus one. So he's already net minus two the last couple days. But you can see he still actually has a plus one to his time trial rating and his resistance uh, helps him balance out. Now, I've found that I'm somewhere between a 75 and 76. Really poor tri time trial is anybody below a 70 has had to kind of stay on that 75 throughout but you can hit on a better time trialist you can hit 76 about halfway through the stage which we have done with rodriguez and you can see he's got that little bit of extra energy to spare which is really important because you'll see why uh, near the end of this stage how that's important but he is currently inside the top 10 he was 17th at the first time check he's the last rider out on road so uh, we'll know exactly where he stands at the end of this thing, but he's up into the top 10 at the second time check, and I have a feeling he's going to gain even more. In fact, I might even push him a little harder. He's such a good time trialist. Looks like he has uh, been able to store away a little bit more. Even Vermark, I think I might be able to get away with pushing that 76 now. Uh, he's... Our lowest ranked rider, other than uh, Baranja and Malar in this one. Uh, those are the only guys, I think, that are below a 70. And here's where this matters. You take this left-hander just under 1K, and that is a steep switch over from this block to that block. And then, once you turn this corner, it's still a little bit uphill to the finish. And there's Rodriguez right behind him. Third place, 28 seconds down. Okay, that is a good time for Rodriguez. I should have been focused on him. Anyway, so half a minute. This is going to be time gains over everybody else because those are time trialists. Uh, Mernick, I think, is actually a pretty good climber. So that might have been 30 important seconds right there. But this should be still yellow jersey. It is. Mernick is just eight seconds down. Shockman, 26. Pogachar. 30, Trent to do 31, Barrow at 39. Now we're starting to have our GC riders shaped a bit. Asgreen Carapaz at about a minute. Whew, yeah, okay. Still have the race lead. Mernick absolutely is a contender. 82 Mountain. Shockman, uh, just 74 on the mountain, so we're not going to have to worry too much about him. Pogachar, of course, we do need to worry about. Surprised he put in such an amazing time. I'm thinking he's focused on trying to win the tour. He must be on a fitness peak already, which might be too early in the race for that to happen if he's putting out that kind of time with a 73 time trial. I mean, he, he had to have been sitting on a plus four, plus five to be able to to only be 30 seconds down. Trent to do another one same sort of deal so these guys might be fading later on in the race barrow barrow you can see why he's at 40 seconds down balage good rider for barador 25 year old barador out of nowhere 77 mountain 77 time trial 75 recovery he looks like a gc guy not a barador at all but he won't be good enough he, he's good he could win a continental stage race he could maybe contend and get a uh, continental pro kind of race but he's not going to win a world tour stage race uh, as green will drop carapaz there's another one just a minute eight down really going for it 83 mountain this is who i expected to be on the back foot and a minute eight well okay sure that's back foot but not massively not to the extent uh, that i expected even your shot is only a minute and a half down but they were also right on our tails moss there's another one who's uh put out a pretty good time where you wouldn't necessarily expect it but there's definitely maybe six contenders that are pretty close now on stage number seven we've already hit that one third of the way through the tour point getting a lot of the sprint stages out of the way i mean that's a few already there's only five big climbing stages in, in this tour, so that, that's one thing to keep in mind. Uh, but also one thing to keep in mind is 
thanks to not being able to target both the Jiro and the Tour, I naturally went for the more prestigious race, the one I care about more, which is the Tour. We are the defending champion, and we're looking to win it again this year. And as a key focal point of our calendar, I worked pretty hard at getting us set properly for this race. And we're starting to see the results of that. For one thing, Moreau was on a fitness peak about five days before the tour started. So that'll last through about half the tour. <coughs> Excuse me. Johnson hit his fitness peak around stage two or three. For Mark, hit his fit fitness peak today. So that's three riders already. Plus we have multiple riders on objective and then on top of that we reconned about six stages two of those was half the team that's here for four of those everybody every single one of these riders was at that reconnoitering trip so we have prepared very well for this one now, as we approach the final three climbs of this punchy stage seven, and this will put most of the punchy stages of this race behind us, pace has been really hot. The breakaway, their gap, it's coming down. They've nearly been caught. And when that happens, we're not going to let up. We're going to keep the pressure on. Why? Because, well, for Mark Johnson, plus fives, the... Moreau, Millar, Baranja, Killens, plus ones are all really good. Moreno, the only one on a negative race take condition, of course, with Rodriguez sitting on that plus three today. And he has not started his fitness peak yet. I think he's probably two days, maybe three days away from starting that. I'll have to look a little closer to see exactly where he's at and when he'll uh, begin that fitness peak because he should be soon. I mean, we've got... 14 stages to go we want him to be hitting that fitness peak right now and have it because he'll have it for the remainder of the tour anyway uh, as we approach these last three climbs and we have 50k to go i do need to send marino has recovered enough let's go ahead and go back and get the water last time we get water i'm going to try to do something today we're going to be bold we're going to be aggressive and we're going to see if we can try to open those gaps a little further it's technically a punchy stage and the way that the ai is going to handle that could leave them vulnerable to losing time over these last three climbs if we play it right i think we could absolutely gain something you can see there's a bit of recovery going on right now as we approach the finish marino needs to find his way through this pack and get that water up there before we hit this i wanted to already be sprint train style and starting to push i think we're gonna have to push the last two and not this one uh, we're set to an 80 80 is fine i think we'll have to let that be moreno never got through are you kidding me dude you've had 20k already he's just now getting back up here that's a waste of his energy okay well it is what it is uh Brancha is also nearly done killen's also nearly done those guys are not going to make it through this climb. And there's the last two Those riders at the break. I'm okay blinking red right here. It's very right short. Here. We're already 1k no from the top. Chance. And we'll set ourselves up for the next the rider one. Is taking his chance alone. So a bunch of guys pushing at the top. Alright. Reno. Let's take care of these three guys. Get them out of the way. Okay, Moreau for Mark, and let's set this up. Now, we've got a small break of contenders. Alphalete, Gaudu, Simmons, I mean, uh, those are your punchy guys who have pushed ahead. Now, most of them are thinking about the KOM, not the stage victory, but they could be thinking about stage victory. They certainly could be looking for something along those lines. So here we go. This is where we want it to be interesting, right? We've already got some fatigue. There's already fatigue. There's uh, absolutely an opportunity here to blow things away. And no, you know what? Let's let's change this up. 
Uh, we're, we're thinking about overall today, not about the stage. So I will use Vermark in a more aggressive manner. Okay, 89 for now. We don't need to attack that hard on the descent. We want to attack the climb coming up, category two, plus the follow-up climb. And really push. Down to a peloton of just 39, plus the seven riders up the road. That's 46 left in contention, easing our way to the front through this part. Uh, we'll set up Moreau. There's still that one more climb after, but then it's a downhill finish. My specialty. And we're going to hit this heavier downhill section in just a moment. Millar's going to then speed up and try to pull us out front. Meanwhile, Rodriguez, Johnson, for Mark, all recovering. Moreau slightly recovering. A lot of riders aren't going to have that recovery because the pace and not having protection. And, oh, Moreau. Moreau kind of got ate up there a little bit as Millar went through. And then Moreau uh, couldn't find that gap. But now we're hitting the base of this climb. And we definitely want to be pushing through this section. Moreau's a 78 on his punchiness today. 76 on the mountain, 77 on the resistance. So he can put in a pretty good turn on this before he's done. 5.3k, 6.5%. Up we go, 20k to go on the stage. Here comes all those punchers again, making their move. Okay, on to Vermark. And we've got Johnson and Rodriguez. This could be a Rodriguez solo ride towards the finish. Down to 37 now, a little downhill. And here we go again. This is a long steep section and Vermark is 77 mountain 85 hills today uh, He is doing a lot of damage to Johnson. I want Johnson to f tuck in behind Get out of the way get out of the way Down to 35 For Mark out of red bar, but he's got plenty of yellow Keep pushing Rodriguez can keep up. Johnson's going to behind. fade. All right, these guys, give them a chance to do their thing. And we now have a very small elite group of 10 riders. 10. Now nine as Johnson gets dropped. The riders have just passed the 15 kilometers road sign. Trentadu, Latour, Pogachar. Vanderpool, Simmons, Gaudu, Vlasov, meaning there's really only about one contender in that group. There's only about one contender in that group, and we have absolutely got a chance to gain time. There's a full minute between us and the chasing group, not counting Johnson there. For Mark's going to have a little bit for a lead out on Rodriguez, and Rodriguez is going to have a real chance to do to something line. here. Absolute, absolute chance to really gain something on this stage. 1.6k, and Rodriguez on the attack. He's gone clear. Things are hotting up at the front! Okay, 96 from here. 16 second gap, 20 second gap. Don't care about the red bar. Keep pushing over the top, push over the top, 21 seconds. It's down to 17, they're coming back at me a little bit, but we've got 7K to go to the finish. How much of a downhill is this? We've got to ease up a little bit, it's flat right now. Ah, uh, we're running out of energy. Running out of energy, we're gonna get caught, we're gonna get caught. Okay. Eight riders. Eight riders. Oh, Vermark got dropped. He's not in the group. Okay, well, I don't care about winning the stage. I care about the time we're gaining, and it's it's two and a half minutes to others. This is massive. Pogachar's here, and that's that's all we have to do. Trent to do? Okay, Trent to do also. Rodriguez has a chance to at least still be part of this sprint. Pogachar, don't take it. Not po Pogachar. Not Pogachar. Come on, top three. Top three. Really had to 
Oh, it's Vanderpool. Okay. Pogacar second. Rodriguez gets third, so he gets another four seconds on top of it. For Mark's going to take ninth place comfortably. There's Johnson sprinting it out. Oh, huge time loss. Huge time loss. Oh my goodness. This is amazing through the first seven stages. We haven't even had our first mountain stage. And we are going to have a very big lead in this race over the vast majority of GC contenders. And there's really only a couple that are going to be close. Oh, wow, we've blown this race open. And we haven't even started our fitness peak yet. That definitely could have been a stage victory if that was a proper descent. It was way too flat in the lead up to the finish and Rodriguez that burnt out the energy he had. He still managed to get third place, so it's totally fine. It's not like he's going to beat Matthew Vanderpool in a sprint. He's a 76-83. Vermark finished a minute 58 down, and then here's your group at 211 with your small number of chase riders those are contenders mostly then 303 to the next group and that's including contenders there's Carapaz there's Yates wow wow huge time gaps I saw an opportunity on that one, and man, oh man, I did not expect that to go as well as it did. The only thing that could have been better was that breakaway late on succeeding and, you know, beating that group by the 10, 15 seconds to the line, adding that 15 second bonus and the 10 seconds for the stage. We lose two seconds to Pogachar, but gain massive time on everybody else. That was all us. Yeah, he gets two seconds out of it. That sounds about like Pogachar in real life in the Tour de France, where Jumbo Visma did all the work, and he just sat on and, and took advantage and went and won three stages and, and then ultimately won the Tour. So he is absolutely still a threat. In fact, there he is now in his traditional hangout in second place, where you got a team doing all the hard work. Yeah, yep. Sounds about right, but look at these times. Rodriguez in the lead, half a minute to Pogachar and Trent to do. Vanderpool at uh, a minute and a half. Latour at minute 40. Those guys aren't a threat. Gaudu, Simmons. Mernick is 223 down. Shockman, no. Vlasa, no. No. M Moss, 347 with a 79 mountain rating. You can, you can rule him out. Andrade's 4.07. There's another time trial on stage 20. If he's going to have any chance, he's going to need a massive win. And then here's all. There, look at all these contenders at four and a half minutes behind. We just turned it into a three-horse race. Trying to do a Pogachar and us. I, I think we just... A third of the way through this tour eliminated most of the GC contenders. Oh my goodness. Uh, this is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. We still have a race though. We absolutely have a race among three for the podium, but most of the top 10 riders are punchers. <laughs> punchers and or time trialists. Uh, so, wow. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I'm mind blown. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to just smash that like button, please. Please. I, I think this is worthy of that, don't you? Have a wonderful day, everybody. Be safe out there, and bye for now.